So Denise, tell us why Adams keeps you coming back. I, it, I come back just because it's just comfort food, comfort food, comfort food. It's just my favorite sort of Sunday dinner favorites, you know, just prepared in a really uh, fresh but simple way. So what did you have last time you went visiting? I made sure to get, they, they've got a, a scotch egg, but they use a duck egg. And so they wrap it in pork sausage. It's so good. And then they just kind of slice it and you can kind of quarter it and just eat it in small bits. They have yeah. it with some uh, mixed greens. Yeah, they, they call and 911 for you while yeah, you're totally, totally. with the order. Yeah, order. Yeah. but it's so <laughs> worth it. We tried their version of chicken and waffles. So it's like obviously fried chicken over like these really savory herbed waffles with like a sausage kind of gravy. And it was very filling, but it was so good though. And because it's just that gets you that, that stick to your ribs kind of uh, meal. So it was delicious. That You're laughing good. in agreement. Did you have the chicken and waffles too? No, I didn't. I didn't, but it sounds really good. I want to go and have it. What did you have on your dish? Um, oh, well, the scallops, the diver scallops, and this unbelievably delicious sauce. Even though it was an appetizer, the I've flavor, did you have the, They're oh, really good. I've had those, those are previously. so good. It felt like it's a restaurant for men. Like the, the, like the meat, you know, there's huge pieces of meat coming out of that kitchen. Did you have any of those huge pieces of meat I yourself? Did. I did. I had the burger, the Adams burger. Oh, it's so good. What do they put in it? Oh, they put a little bit of barbecue sauce, a little bit of blue cheese. They put bacon, This the most amazing bacon. That's like, I think it's cured right there. The, yeah. yeah the cured. Right. Yeah, they yeah. smoke it in-house. Yeah, it's in-house. Mm -hmm. I want to go back and have some more. And the chicken. <laughs> yeah, well, I did have, well, actually, my wife and I went, and uh, she had the chicken. There's something smoky about it, yeah. right? It's smoky, the it's salty. Really it's really smoky. And, and it, the, just that whole thing together, that, that flavor was great. Yeah, don't get a cholesterol test afterwards. No, no. <laughs> but we had, we, we tried to... Um, kind of spread out the choices a little bit. We had a couple of appetizers. Cauliflower soup was mm. very fresh and very tasty. Yeah. Um, the calamari, fried calamari was oh, was very good too. Yeah. But when the entrees came, that's what really blew me away. And I ordered the the special, which was this butter poached halibut. Oh, I wanted to try. And I it saw just that. melts yeah. in your mouth. Oh, just incredibly tasty. Mm. And then a couple of sauces, like a sort of an olive tapenade with sun dried tomatoes on the top, and then something else to dip you know the fish in and, and the, just that whole preparation was wonderful well you know that chef um, Adam Roberts has really formal training he was the chef for a very long time at Rovers which mm -hmm. is a very high-end yeah. French restaurant in Madison Valley so he really mm -hmm. sounds like he's kind of combining the comfort food casual with mm -hmm. his high level of efficiency yeah, in the well, kitchen you can That's taste cool. it yeah, yeah. the flavors are well and did either of you guys try any of the the beers that they have yes I did. oh you did which yes. ones did you guys well, get i had a, the pale ale and i have to say that was the the one thing that was disappointing to me um because i know there's a brewery attached yes, to right, right, affiliated yeah, yeah. with mm -hmm. with the restaurant i was mm -hmm. expecting great things and That's very good. to me the beer was like eh, you know a buddy of mine makes homebrew uh, it was yeah. pretty good homebrew. It was not up to the caliber of some other Northwest, you know, craft beers. I had the Scotch Ale when I was mm. there, and that's a little bit, probably a little more of like their heavier flavor, but it wasn't too much to where it didn't overpower, say, like the smokiness of the chicken right. or any of the other, you know, things that we tried. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. good. It's a good drinking beer. It's a, it, you know what's fun? is the beer flight. That's really cool because you've got the four different kinds of beers yeah. there. Mm -hmm. and, and it's fun, so you can get just a little taste of each of the beers. It's just right. And yeah, it goes with, I mean, it can go with all, everything that they pretty much have on the menu. Yeah. Talk to me about the decor, Denise. I think one thing to kind of know about the Monroe area and is just because they, there's a lot of antique shops. And so I know they pulled a lot of their decor from the antique shops. So it's kind of like when you walk in, there's old photos, yeah. old saws from mm. uh, the logging era, mm. but because they're so like, long. And they're weird. And yeah. Lots of, lots of meat cleavers. A lot of meat cleavers. Meat, meat there's meat a wall of meat cleaver. I thought yeah. they did a great job of creating a space in there that takes you back 50 years. You know, right. it, it kind of has that, you know, dark walls and ceiling sense of, you know, a, a, a diner or an older restaurant in a small town on Main Street in a small town where people like have been coming for cabin? generations. Do you think? I, like it wasn't quite that rustic. I think, but close but it was very, you know, it yeah. was that sort of old town yes. feel, not in terms of the food at all, but in terms of the yeah. decor and that just that feeling that you get. Well, Denise, you chose Adams Northwest Bistro and Brewery. Sum it up for us. 
comfort food and kind of like that Sunday dinner feel. So it's just, it's a place where you feel like you're home. Stan, how about you? Um, if I was coming over the pass on Route 2, you know, back from a weekend in eastern mm -hmm. Washington, and mm -hmm. I could time it so that I'm coming through Monroe at dinner time, you bet, I'll be back there. How about you, Lisa? Yeah, I think it's definitely um, worth going back again. You can try it for yourself at Adams Northwest Bistro and Brewery, 104 North Lewis Street in Monroe, 360-794-4056. Open for dinner Tuesday through Sunday and closed on Mondays. Reservations are recommended. 